Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. Um, it is me, Mo. I'm so happy to be here with you guys as always. And as you can see from this right here, guys, we have another base design for you guys. This has been highly requested by you all. Um, you love my base designs. I have a lot of fun making them. Um, and I am going to be trophy pushing relatively soon. Um, I'm not sure when, but I wanted to go ahead and start building that base up and start getting my trophies up before our push in a couple of weeks. So if you are in my clan, the push will be in a couple of weeks. No need to ask. I will let you guys know when. But as always, guys, I'm super stoked about this because I really do love base designs. And as you can see, it is a trophy base, as I just said, because the town hall is centered <coughs> in the middle. Um, but why don't we go ahead and just start bringing in um, everything I'm going to go ahead and place in the wizard towers. Um, now, wizard towers, honestly, are my favorite defense. I like them more than any other defense. Um, I don't know. I just like them. The splash damage that they do is ridiculous, and um, the rate at which they shoot is also very, very good, and that's why I enjoy them so much. Um, we're going to go ahead and bring in these Teslas as well, which also do um, great damage against P.E.K.K.A., so we're going to have those close in here to the town hall. Um, to protect it, and then we are also going to bring one right over here on the tip, um, just to hang out. I don't know. He he feels like being there, so I'm going to let him be there. <laughs> um, next, we're going to bring in our mortars, which is, in my opinion, our second most important defense. Some would argue that it is more important um, than the archer towers, but I don't know why. I just love it. Um, I love the, I'm sorry, I didn't mean Archer Towers, I meant Wizard Towers. But, um, Wizards and Mortars are relatively the same. Whenever people ask me, hey Mole, what should I upgrade? I always say, well, your splash damage. So you should always upgrade your Mortars and your Wizard Towers far before anything else that you upgrade. Um, because they are so, so, so very important. Um, as you can see right now, I am bringing in the Air Defenses. And up at this level, it's very important to have strong air defense because um, you get attacked a lot by dragons and things of that sort, so you got to be prepared for that. Next, we're going to bring our clan castle right in here in the middle because when you're in an active clan, the clan castle is so very important. It, it, I mean, it's like in football, you know how they say that um, they have the 12th man? Well, this is that for Clash of Clans. You need to have your clan castle in the middle because it's such... An awesome defense. <clears throat> um, now let's bring in our cannons, um, which look pretty freaking sweet when they're gold. Um, I am getting very, very close to being maxed out, guys. So um, this is probably going to be my last base design, honestly, for Town Hall 8. So um, all of you Town Hall 9 fans, get ready. I'm coming for you. Um, we are going to be making a Town Hall 9 base probably within the next month or so. So definitely. Um, be prepared for that. So here are all of our cannons. As you can see, they're spread out pretty evenly across the base, which is very important for your point defenses. Um, your archer towers are also point defenses because they attack one singular target. So you want to have them spread out pretty well um, across the base as <coughs> excuse me as well. So we are going to um, spread them out. And I'm sorry for that. I'm going to go ahead and turn down my volume just so that that doesn't annoy you guys too much. Sorry about that. Um, so there are all of our archer towers. As you can see, they're pretty evenly spread across the base. Um, I wish that I had one more just to make it even, but whatever. This works for me. Um, so those are spread out around the base as well, as you can see, covering a very, very wide range. Um, as are the mortars. You can see they cover the entire base. Wizard towers do a great job. Air defenses cover the entire base. So right now we have our base covered very very well by our defenses which is the main goal because you really want to make sure that your defenses are protecting your other defenses if that makes sense um, so that's why you have the stronger ones in the center so that they can be there longer causing more damage and thus protecting your base for a longer period of time um, now I'm just bringing in my resources um, it sucks having to put them so close to the edge and everything um, <clears throat> just because, you know, you love your resources. That's what you need to upgrade. But, um, you can't protect that and your town hall. So, sadly, they do have to be vulnerable. Um, so that's what's happening with these right now. I'm just placing them around the base, not as, um, not in as important places as, um, all the defenses, obviously. We're going to bring our Barb King right in here, um, as well. 
and I believe that that does it for all the defenses. Yep, so now all the defenses are down, guys. Um, and one thing that I notice a lot of people do that I always take advantage of is um, they will place all of their gold storages or gold collectors on one side of the base. So that's not good because if somebody is coming after your base just for gold, then you're going to be in trouble because all they have to do is deploy everything on one side and then they're going to get all your gold. So what you need to do, guys, is spread it out evenly across the base with other buildings in between them. Like right now, I'm putting my barracks in between um, my collectors. And that way, you don't have to worry about someone just coming and lazy farming, as they say, um, lazy farming your base. So that's very, very important for any of you who are wondering. Um, if you personally put um, all of your things on one side, you should really, really consider not doing that because it is very, very dangerous um, when people come after your base and all of your gold is on one side. It makes it very easy for them to really just come and take what they want. Um, so, as you can see, I also have these little walls on the outside protecting my dark elixir right there a little bit better and protecting my um, gold storage a little bit better as well. I'm actually going to bring that one out and bring this one out as well. And that way, my cannons can still cover it and the archers are going to have a very hard time coming in there and ticking off um, my resources. So, we're just going to continue spreading out all of these buildings around the base, guys. Um, and I am going to pick one barrack to put down here by my, um, <clears throat> by my army camps because that way when I log in, I can just go right in here, train all of my troops from that one. Um, and as I said, I'm just going to continue bringing our resources around the base in, um, a random fashion. And let's see, we'll bring another barrack over here. So on and so forth. Um, but really guys, the most important thing with this is keeping everything close to the walls so that no buildings get ticked off for free because you want to make sure when you're pushing for trophies that your buildings are, um, all very well protected, even your builder's huts, just because you want to make sure that someone can't just come in and get <clears throat> free percentages because when you're trophy pushing or when you're trying to protect your town hall, you don't want people to get a free 5% without even getting shot at. So even the even the builder's huts bring in around the base um, just to keep things tight. You know, I personally used to spread them out as well just because I always hoped for someone to forget to check a corner. Um, and sometimes they still do, but all too often um, everyone just got those and it was all free for them. So really the main goal is just to bring everything tight in so that all of your buildings are um, so that all of your buildings are covered, and it looks like we are about to finish bringing everything in. Where can I put this gold? Let's bring this over one. Bring that elixir in right there, um, and then I'm gonna move this builder hut. Bring this down. Bring this down. Bring that down, and let's put this gold right over here. And then that's going to be it, guys. That is the new base. I don't really know what I'm calling this base. Um, I don't know. It kind of looks like a fish, honestly, but that sounds kind of lame. So all this is is another Town Hall 8 trophy base, guys. I hope that you like this. I hope you enjoy these. Comment below what you think about it. Um, let me know if you would rearrange things or if you would do anything else. But right now, everything is triangulated. As you can see with the air defenses, the mortars, and the wizards, and I think that this base is going to be really, really good. I think it's going to work out well for me. So try it out, guys. I don't mind if you try it. That's why I'm making them. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all of my new subscribers. Thanks for commenting, liking, and getting involved in everything that I'm doing, guys. I really do appreciate that. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. Let's keep pushing to the top, guys. Um, I'm, I'm bringing all of you with me, and I really do recognize everyone who's who's been here and who comments and gets involved. I recognize you guys, and I recognize your names, and I get excited when y'all comment. So stay involved, guys. Y'all are awesome. You're so much cooler than me. And as always, guys, keep calm and clash on for me, all right? I'll see you later.